Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five. Page five. So, like page four, we're going to use the same pattern, um, which is from the Patterns and Solid Pack, the 12 by 12, as the base for this page. Go. Looks pretty good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install two cards, and these cards are nine inches, nine by seven. Nine by seven, you're going to score it four and a half. I'm going to go ahead and take my designer paper off and set it aside. On the left hand side, you're going to place a magnet. And you will not have a magnet on the right hand side. So I'm going to have um, a relatively small border um, on the uh, left edge. And this gets applied with the score line away from the center of the page, score line to the edge. And I just eyeballed that, but now that it's down, I'll tell you what the distance is. That is the edge of the score line edge is a quarter inch to the edge of the pocket page. Not the designer paper, but the pocket page. Okay, and I just want these directly across from each other. going to use a ruler just to make sure that the bottom line remains straight. Oops. It's not liking that, so I'm going to use this one. Keep sliding out from under it. Okay, we have a pretty tight border. Okay, here we go. Okay, now on the top, we're going to use this dark swirl pattern. Got these inked, so this is gonna go down. Side. These are going to go toward the outside, and then I've got this pattern that's going to go on the inside. And this is from the 12 by 12, and this is from Patterns and Solids. I finally gave up looking for my hook tool and just got another one. It's getting kind of frustrated with that. But what do you do? Oh, I haven't inked it, so pause and do that real quick.
nothing. Okay, so this side is done. We're going to add some extensions to this side. And, and then we're going to also add an, I said it's done, but we're going to add a, another matted element to the cover. Each one is going to have this. And this is just a photo mat centered on the left and right. I forgot to tell you the measurements. Four by six. Four by six. Alright, now here's my extension pieces. So again, these 4x6, you'll do two of those. This is going to get attached like so. I think I'm going to come over about this far. Yeah, that looks about right. So it's really, it's about halfway through this panel. Okay, this piece is five by seven. Five by seven. I, don't know I did right. Or seven by five, however you however you want to look at it. It's gonna be um sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's going to be um horizontal. And then it's also going to have a card installed on top on the inside and on the outside. So this one, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a quick line. So my glue needs to be on this side. So when this is, I'm going to actually glue some more here. When this is closed, a little sliver of this pattern is going to be exposed. Okay. 
Okay. So when it's in its closed state, it's going to look like that. So there's our little bit of that print. Now the balance of this is going to be covered by one of the two of these. I'm trying to remember which way I had it. This way. Okay. That's going to go on the inside. So it's going to go this way. And this is going to go vertical. And when I put it in, I want it to be centered on the second half of this card. So I'm going to hold off on am I going this way. Yeah, I think I want I think I want this on the outside. I'm going to hold off gluing this down because we need to add a magnet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this piece down. This is four and a, let me double check, make sure I didn't turn it. Yeah. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mat. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I did that backwards. I should have put that on the designer paper. It's already inked, so we're ready to go. Okay, so this is going to get installed like so. Is that right? Let me think about that. Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay, now earlier we placed a magnet here on this blue side. Now we're ready to put the companion magnet over here. Okay, and then this is the pattern that we're going to use here. And then this is four by six, four by six, and it's going to go right here. So that is it for page five. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back soon with the rest of the album.